and I also thought like how can I get there I already just did nursing like once you do nursing you can't do nothing else hi this is Ricky and you are welcome to lifelines so for today's video we're going to be talking about why I transitioned from nursing to medicine so before we talk about why I went from nursing to medicine let's talk about why I even went into nursing So um, I'm a traditional nursing student. So after my four years of high school, I went straight into a nursing BSN program, which was four years. So two years were my prerequisites and the other two years were straight nursing classes. In those first two years, because the way my school is designed, we had a little bit of nursing classes um, implemented into our curriculum. But overall, it was mostly the prereqs and then into nursing school. So for my school, you're directly into the nursing program. So that's one thing that I loved. And overall, my journey into nursing um, in high school, I was not really sure what I wanted. I was really set on healthcare just because my mom's a nurse and um, every, a lot of people in my family are in the medical field. But then also as a child, I was surrounded by a lot of healthcare professionals. I saw how they were touching lives and touching hearts and how just simple acts were able to make a, such a big deal and big impact on people's lives. And my nurses also had a Im big impact in my life personally. So I wanted to do the same for others, just like how I still have a personal relationship with a lot of the people that have taken care of me. I also wanted to do the same and have that impact. So overall, I saw, wow, like they're really treating patients. People are getting better from these individuals just choosing a career in that. And also career day, I always looked for the nurse. I always looked for any type of healthcare professional just to see what they're doing. So I pretty much went into nursing school without like shadowing a nurse. I didn't have like a great idea of what my mom did. And I feel like I didn't have a great idea of what nurses did overall, but I was just in love with the medical field. So the moment when I realized that nursing was truly something I wanted to do was when I had one patient in the pediatric unit. Um, he had muscular dystrophy and the patient also had developmental delays and the patient didn't have great family support, um, lived in a facility, not with their family or anything. And um, on the unit, this patient was seen as like, oh, this patient's been here for a long time. And they kind of gave me a vibe that they were not really too happy with having that patient as a patient for the day. When I had my patient, there would be times where he's looking for me, times where we just could connect. Like I was helping to teach him different skills, such as like brushing your teeth and different skills as reading and not like watching TV all day. And he was just looking for me and you could feel that connection. It was just great because I felt needed. I felt like I was providing quality care that I was trying to be the nurse that I wanted to be and that I saw. That was a big moment for me and that's when I realized that I truly wanted to do nursing. In the back of my mind, um, med school was like a thing, but it was very transient. It wasn't like really there, it wasn't strong. It was just like another thought like, oh, you could be this other medical profession. Let's talk about when I had like a stronger feeling of going into medicine. So this, um, started when I started clinical so when I first started clinicals you know I was excited still am excited about going into any clinical field so I went into the clinical field did my med surge one all right I also had maternity so I loved it I just loved everything about nursing I still love everything about nursing so then when I went to my next clinical that was pediatrics and pediatrics was something that I felt like would be something that I would really gravitate gravitate towards so I started my pediatric clinical rotation and one of the days of clinical um, we had to go into the clinic it was a orthopedic clinic so when i went to the orthopedic clinic i was paired with the physician and i didn't really realize he was a physician at first i was just like oh i'm supposed to be following the nurse and then i thought he was an np or something but he ended up being a physician and when I tell you guys, every single room he went into, he was sure to comfort the child and the parent. It was so different because being with around physicians, you just hear like they have no bedside etiquette. They're just, they don't have as much emotion as nurses. Nurses really care for people. But when I followed him into each 
room and he just connected with the child he connected with the parent maybe that he hasn't seen these people before but he was still able to connect with them and give them a sense of comfort and understanding and then i also didn't know that he was a surgeon as well an orthopedic surgeon so just him having that um sense of being a great provider i also aspired for that i'm like man i wish i could do that as nurses of course we're we can be type of provider um in a different sense in terms of caring for our patients and things like that but he just really inspired me and i was just so awed i remember leaving clinical that day and i was just like wow like this guy just blew me away with just how he knew everything and could answer questions and it was just a sense of knowledge and being still relatable and after that moment that's when i found that maybe medicine is something i'll look to but by that this time i was already a junior in nursing school and i'm like i'm already i'm already almost done like what am i doing so that was like still a thought there after the experience with the physician at the clinic i just kept bouncing back and forth between medicine it still was just like a thought but now this thought was stronger and i also thought like how can i get there i already just did nursing like once you do nursing you can't do nothing else like the next step is being an np right so then i would go on youtube and i started to look up different things such as rn to medicine rn to md um i looked at so many different things and it was just like wow maybe this is possible in the summer i started my nurse externship um, and this is during COVID, um, basically at the peak of COVID, started my nurse externship, and that's when I was fully exposed to a whole healthcare team. I was exposed to what the physician does, I was exposed to what the nurse does, respiratory therapist, child life, all of those things. I was exposed to so many different roles, and that's when I felt like I started to understand more what does everyone do and what is everyone's role. Even following the NPs as well, and PAs, I also got to see what they did. and. I just really like the autonomy of being a physician. Of course, NPs also have that great autonomy as well. But at the end of the day, you're still under a physician. And um, also one of my things that I was thinking about was starting my own practice or my own clinic. And I saw that you could only do that as an NP in certain um, places. And it was just the autonomy for me. <laughs> um, me, I personally, um, very involved in leadership activities. I like to be um, in lead in charge and it's not about ego or anything But that's just how I feel comfortable and I also feel comfortable as a team member because servant leadership You guys already know servant leadership is one of the best ways to lead anything that you're in So that was for me one of the biggest things was autonomy and being able to know and understand also was the knowledge having all of the knowledge around the medical field or around a particular specialty was also something that I really liked and something that I really felt like I could go for. In nursing school, the parts that I really enjoyed was, these are the symptoms, what do you think the patient has? Um, this is what's happening, what do you do? Those actions are what really drew me into um, going into nursing and going into medicine. But in reality, when you're on the hospital floor, when you're on the unit, some of those things are not the scope of a nurse. So for example, you're on a med surge unit and your patient comes in. When your patient comes in, they most likely already know their diagnosis. You're not the one diagnosing the patient. So that's one thing that I really wish that I would be able to do. Another thing was um, putting in orders. As a nurse, you're fulfilling those orders but as a provider, you would be the one putting in those orders and looking at the treatment plan. Being able to construct a treatment plan and being able to be an advocate for my patient was one of the biggest reasons why I went into medicine. As we look at the healthcare field, there's a lot of disparities and there's a lot of issues in the healthcare field. And they always tell us in nursing school, be your patient's advocate, be your patient's advocate. And being a patient advocate was one thing that I really took seriously and really wanted to do. And being at a level of a doctor, that would help me to be an advocate for my patient. As I'm being an advocate for my patient, I'm also aware that there are other roles in the healthcare team and that they can also contribute to that treatment plan. So being an advocate for my patient is also 
another thing that I love about going into medicine and going into nursing. Maybe asking, do you, I regret going into nursing? Honestly, I do not regret going into nursing. And if I had to do it again, I would go into nursing and then right after I would do my pre-med prereqs. Something that I would change would be, I would start the nursing program and then in my summers, I would do the pre-med prereqs. So then by the time I would have graduated, I would have done all the pre-med prereqs and could have started studying for the MCAT and then um, start applying for medical school. So maybe like fast track it a bit because now I have these extra years, but I definitely wouldn't change my background in nursing. It's made me the healthcare professional I am. It's made me the person I am. It's had me so involved in so many different things. In pre-med, I probably wouldn't have gotten that same experience that I've gotten, whether it be with either skills or even understanding certain things. I would have just been delved in science classes and it just wouldn't make me as well-rounded as I am today. So after my pediatric clinical, I did do a lot of research into how can a nurse go into medicine. So it's completely different prerequisites. So I looked at formal post baccalaureate programs, and I also saw the option of doing a DIY post baccalaureate program. Um, and I chose the formal post baccalaureate program and it's gonna be a two-year program. Instead of one year, there are a lot of one-year options, but I chose the two-year option just so I can build my medical portfolio and based on the advice I've gotten from other nurses on this path, I've chosen that. Also, comment down below if you want me to do a video on DIY post-baccalaureate programs and formal post-baccalaureate programs. I've done so much research on it, got so much advice from different nurses and healthcare professionals about it. So definitely comment down below if you want to see that material and I'll also be talking about my journey in the post baccalaureate program um, as I move on. I'm not officially pre-med pre-med. I just have taken upon myself to add some pre-med classes to my schedule um, before I start my post baccalaureate program. And one of the classes that I would start with is Gen Chem 1. So I started to audit Gen Chem 1 as a class and I just reached out to the pre-health advisor for some help into that. So I just asked, could I audit Gen Chem 1 just so that I could have the lectures, have the material and be prepared a little bit more because I'm going from nursing to science classes and that can be like a really big transition to go back to. So um, I'm auditing Gen Chem 1 right now on top of my nursing curriculum. And then I also took on another science that is not a pre-med um, prereq, but I just took it so that it can increase my science GPA before I move into the next program, and it's called food science. So um, something that I definitely would recommend to any student that's currently in nursing, if you wanna take on pre-med, um, depending on how you are and how you feel before you completely change your major, maybe you can take on both and see how everything works. So taking on these classes at the same time of, as my nursing curriculum, it can make it a little bit heavy, especially because I'm a senior. It's like everyone is just, you know, worried about like graduation and doing your nursing classes, but I'm also like trying to prepare for my pre-med courses, um, which are like completely different from nursing because of the way like the theory and just the way the class is set up. It's like two different beats that you're tackling on. And this video is also to encourage other nurses or nursing students that you can go into medicine if you would like to. But it's all about what you prefer. For me personally, um, even though I haven't fully delved into the field yet, I'm already determined in my path to go into medicine. So once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you can get notifications anytime Lifeline drops a video. And we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.